In this movie, we're going to talk about some keyboard focus commands that will really speed up your workflow in Pro Tools. Keyboard fo focus, if you remember, is the ability to use single key presses to perform actions, and you need to make sure that the A to Z icon is selected in Pro Tools. We already know two keyboard shortcuts, that is, place a cursor, letter T to zoom in, and letter R to zoom out. An additional zoom uh, keyboard focus command is to highlight a region and press the letter E to zoom that region into view and press it again to zoom out. As well, the numbers one through five on the keyboard, not the keypad, will provide zoom settings. You can also perform edits with the keyboard focus command by placing a cursor and trimming up to the cursor by pressing the letter A. You can trim after the cursor by pressing the letter S. You can break a region, or separate it rather, by clicking the letter B. You can perform fades with keyboard focus by placing a cursor, fading into it by pressing D, fading out of it by pressing G, or performing a crossfade by highlighting and pressing F. Now here you need to make sure you have a valid crossfade region and Pro Tools will tell you if you don't and will prompt you to adjust the bounds. You can quickly copy and paste by highlighting a region, pressing C to copy, place your cursor and V to paste. So this is just like Command C, Command V, you're just getting rid of the command portion. As well, you can quickly cut by highlighting and pressing X, then V to paste. A really nice feature is to quickly move up and down tracks with the highlighted portion, so you can select a portion of a waveform and press the letter P to move up in tracks with the selection and semicolon to move down. Now you can put these together to perform some really good edits that are fast by highlighting C to copy, P to move up, V to paste. Keep in mind that you can only copy and paste to similar tracks, that is if you have mono material you can only paste it to a mono track and vice versa with uh, stereo. You can quickly play back a selected portion by highlighting it and pressing the left bracket. If you press the right bracket, depending on your link timeline selection, if you have the option to link timeline and edit deselected, left bracket will play the selection, right bracket will play where the cursor is. So here I'll place it before the selection. Finally, when you get to volume automation, a really quick way to toggle between waveform and volume views is to select a track and press the minus key. 